So I'm going to do a review on these 10 by 25 portable HD binoculars by Meritees. I hope I pronounced the company name correctly. If not, I do apologize. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at them now. This is just the box that they came in. Just thought I'd put that up there so you could see what the box looked like. And then here's the binoculars. They do actually come with a really nice carrying case. Um, and this allows you to kind of give you a nice place to store them. Um, as well as an easy way to carry them um, because they do have a loop here on the back that you can actually put this on your belt. So if you want to keep them on your hip, then you can easily do that. But I think this is a really nice storage case as well for the binoculars. If you're not going to use them, then you can put them in here. It'll protect them from dust or dirt and overall just kind of protect the lenses from getting scratched. Um, they do have all glass optical lenses. So... They are really nice lenses and you're going to want to take care of them. It does have a Velcro enclosure and we're going to pull it out here. And they do come with a really nice cleaning cloth and it's a really good size as well. So we'll lay that up there. And the next strap that I have on there, you can easily take it off. It does not come on them. You can put it on yourself. You just squeeze these two little tabs here and then pull it apart. And then if you want to put it back on, you just clip it in there. So it's a really easy process. Um, the next strap feels like a really soft nylon material. Um, I think it's a really good length and it's really comfortable to wear. The binoculars are lightweight, so it doesn't add any strain on your neck if you do decide to wear them around your neck. So I really like the idea that they are lightweight. I think it makes them really comfortable to have around your neck if you are out and you're going to be using them off and on every couple minutes. It's really more convenient to kind of have that neck strap and to wear them. So I definitely like the idea that they did add that for you to use if you would want. Um, the binoculars here, as you can see, they are made of rubber. And I think the rubber is a really good choice. Um, it has a lot of grip, so they're really easy to hold. And it allows you to get a nice, comfortable grip on them while you're using them. There's a lot of different features to them as well. Um, as you can see, they do adjust really easily. So you can pretty much get them to fit as comfortable as possible. And then up here, you can actually twist this. I don't know how well you can see this. There we go. But there's a circle here, and then you have a minus sign and a plus sign. And this is your magnification, and you just adjust it like that. Um, this is obviously no magnification, and then you can just adjust it based on however you need to, um, based on what you're looking at. And then in order to adjust them for clarity, um, you're going to actually just use this right here. And the hand wheel is skid proof, um, it has a really nice grip to it, so you can turn it very easily and you don't have to worry about slipping or anything like that while you're adjusting it. One thing that I do like um, while you're adjusting the focus is a lot of times part of the binoculars themselves actually move, um, usually down here at the lenses, but with this particular pair of binoculars, as you can see this bottom part here is actually what moves and it moves the lens inside the binocular. So I like the idea that it's kind of hidden um, because it, to me it's less of a risk of it getting broken or damaged um, because a lot of times, as you can see here, how this separates, um, if the lens separates like that, to me it's just a greater chance of something breaking because it's not connected as well um, when it is, if you have it all the way out and you're focusing on something. So I like the idea that it's inside. Um, to me, it's just, like I said, less risk of breaking something and having it last longer. So I definitely like that. Um, and as you can see, it's really easy to do. So at the end of the video, I'm actually going to put a couple pictures just to show you through the binoculars because I don't think it's going to be anything that you're going to be able to see on camera but I will post 
some pictures at the end, like I said, just so you can see the clarity and see what it looks like actually looking through them. Um, I really like them. I think they are really well made, especially for the price of them. Um, definitely have some really nice features. One thing that I did forget to show you, which I thought was really cool, I don't know how many binoculars do this, but I wear glasses, and one thing that I found really cool about these is you can actually roll this eyepiece down, and there's the difference. This is one that's not rolled up, and then you have this one that I rolled down. So you can actually roll down the eyepiece if you wear glasses to give you a better view of what you're looking at and allow you to use the binoculars more efficiently with glasses on. So I really like that feature. Um, I've always kind of not necessarily had a hard time, but it's not really the easiest thing to use binoculars if you wear glasses. So I like the idea that they do roll down because it does make it a lot easier. Um, but overall, I think it's a really nice pair of binoculars. They're compact, they're very easy to store, very easy to take with you. Um, they're so small that you can honestly throw them in your purse, or if you're hunting or hiking, you can throw them in your backpack. They're not going to take up a lot of space at all. I think they did a really good job with the design because they just kind of fold up. And like I said, they're really compact. And I think that to me is one of the things that I so there is one thing that I don't really like about the binoculars. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna take this next strap off here. I'm not 100% sure that you can actually remove these straps here. I'll kind of show you a little bit better. To me, they almost look like they are attached for good, um, but I'm not really a fan of this. Because, in my opinion, if you are carrying these and, you know, you don't want to put the neck strap on, this is what you're going to hear the whole time. And, in my opinion, that's kind of annoying. And if you are using these for hunting, the last thing you're going to want is this kind of noise. Um, because regardless how you use them, like, even if they're this way and you hold these up, you're still making noise. So that's probably the only thing that I'm not too fond of on these binoculars. Like I said, I don't know if you can take these off, but just looking at them, to me it looks like you can't. So to me that's the only downfall and the only thing that I don't really like about them is because I think that this should come off somehow. Um, I just don't like the clanging that it does. It's just, to me, it's unnecessary. But that's really the only thing that I don't like about the binoculars, is just that noise if you don't use the neck strap. And I would definitely recommend them to anyone who is looking for a nice, portable, small set of binoculars, whether you're hunting or hiking, if you're going to a sporting event, or even if you're just out sightseeing and you want to have a pair of binoculars with you, this is definitely a pair that I would check out. So if you're interested in possibly purchasing them or maybe just taking a look at them more, I will put the link in the description below. And thanks for watching.